So this question is all about Newton's third law. So here we have a man and his son. They're on a frictionless frozen pond. They're about four meters apart. Each one holds on to one end of a stretched rope in their hand. The man is two times the mass so, of the son. So first question asks, if the father pulls with a constant force of 25 newtons, so that means the father is pulling on the rope. So this is father on rope with 25 newtons. What's the magnitude and direction of the force on the father and then on the son? So again, that 25 newton force is on the rope, not the father. The reactionary force to that 25 newtons that the father pulled on the rope with would be a 25 newton force in the opposite direction, which is rope on father. So what does that mean? Well, the only force on the father is going to be a 25 newton force towards his son. So by pulling on that rope, the father's direction of motion is actually, the father's direction of the, the force acting on the father is towards, the, towards his son, not backwards. Okay? It is back towards his son because that is the only force we see. Um, now we look at the son. Well, the rope is pulling the son to the left. Rope on son and also with a force of 25 newtons because that's how much force the father pulled. What did the son have to do to even just hold on to the rope? Well, the reactionary force of that, which is son on rope, and that is also going to be 25 newtons. Now, again, of these four forces, there are only two acting on the people. We have a 25 newton force on the rope by the rope on the father and 25 newton force of the rope on the sun. So both the net forces on the father and the sun are headed towards each other in the middle. So in B, what is the motion of the father and the sun? Well, the father is going to move towards his son and it, the son is going to move towards the father. Now, there is a slight difference between their motions because of their mass. Okay, what's going to be the difference there? Well, the acceleration of the father, we call that AF, okay, is equal to that 25 newton force over two times the mass of the sun. The acceleration of the sun is going to be that 25 newton force over 1m. So what does that tell you? Well, the acceleration of the father is going to be half the acceleration of the sun. Okay, so, but they're both going to move towards each other in the middle. Okay, the son's not just going to move towards the father. The father's not just going to move towards the son. They're going to move towards each other in the middle. Now, in part C, both the father and the son pulling the rope with 25 newtons. Will either of them move? Well, look at what we just said. The son has to pull on the rope with 25 newtons just to keep holding on. The father is pulling with 25 newtons. Is this going to change anything? No. Are they both going to move? Yes. Exactly what we just drew before, they're going to move towards the middle with twenty and with that twenty-five newton force. Okay, just hold on the rope. The son needed to exert those twenty-five newtons worth of force. Okay, and the father is exerting those because he's pulling on it. So they're both always pulling on it with twenty-five newtons worth of force, just to maintain their grip on it. So what are they going to do? Well, they're both going to go to the middle again, and we're going to end up in the exact same situation we started with, with the first, with the first set of um, things we were told.